Welcome to Gel Printing July. It's the last day today. <laughs> yes, okay, I know uh, this is my 29th video, not the 31st. But, <laughs> and yeah, a small part in me is uh, saying, I should make 31 videos. But I, uh, I started on the 3rd of July this month. And uh, because that morning I just got the idea in my head, like, oh, that would be a great challenge to do this month. And um, you can find all my reasoning in the very first video. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I just dove into it and uh, I think that was a great decision because if I would have uh, started to think and, and think it over and plan maybe it would uh, scare me off <laughs> because oh wow this has been a real challenge indeed um, not just showing up for my practice every day which which is a challenge on its own <laughs> because of course life life also continues you know um but also to make a video of it every day and that's uh, quite a challenge i am not a casey neistat <laughs> so yeah that was definitely a challenge for me but i've also learned so much from it so um, I'm really happy that I did it. And I'm also really, really, really happy to be back on YouTube because I started this channel years ago and then I didn't have enough time anymore to make videos. Also because my videos always take so much to, to make. Um, but with this challenge, I've learned to be less perfectionistic and to... Um, yeah, to, to create my videos in, in a way that I can uh, make more of them. And um, I guess that's also my main message for today, uh, which is that, okay, gel printing July, the last day today, but I am definitely not going to stop making videos here on my channel. Um, okay, not daily videos. <laughs> I need some time to breathe. But my plan is to make uh, weekly videos. And uh, well, I'll tell you a little bit more about my plans and how this has been also this challenge. Uh, I'll tell you about that while, while I am working on my final gel print of this month. <laughs> Not my final gel print ever. Um, so let me just tell you quickly what my plan is for today. My plan is to really, really, really keep it simple. I think I've said that uh, many times during this challenge and sometimes I kept to that, but sometimes I made it very much more complicated than I thought. But um, for today, I just want to uh, work with one of my favorite techniques, and that is uh, what I called my freestyling technique. And some people have asked me uh, where I got that uh, technique from, but it's really just something that developed in me. I started uh, gel printing. I discovered it in uh, 2014, and uh, um, yeah, it just it just developed. Uh, because I like I like that way of working. So um, I've made already a video about the freestyling uh, technique uh, uh, here during gel printing July, and I'll link to that as well. So for today, I'm going to do that technique and uh, just play and use some of my favorite colors. And as always, I will list all the paints and other supplies that I use. I, I will list those in the uh, description box. And um, yeah, in the meantime, I will just uh, talk also a little bit about uh, this challenge, how it's been and uh, what my plans are for this channel. Oh yes, and before I uh, forget, uh, let me tell you that I have a second gel plate here uh, next to me, which I will be using as a palette. And 
I'm going to work with uh, several of my own made stencils. So uh, I think I've uh, mentioned everything so uh, I can uh, start just playing with my gel print and uh, talk a little bit more about this whole challenge and uh, what will be uh, coming up on this channel. So yeah, gel printing July, it was just a challenge that I dove uh, into head first. And um, yeah, it, it was for me a way to really commit to a daily practice, which is sometimes kind of hard as a working artist and art teacher to really also nourish your own um, uh, creative uh, development um, just because yeah you're focusing on on the work that you're making for students but I really feel that I yeah want to focus on on my own creative development and journey as well because that is really for me the heart of everything I don't want to do just a gimmick. I don't want to do always the same as an artist. I really want to, yeah, follow my curiosity. And uh, because I think that is one of the most important things that are at the heart of creativity, at least for me. So doing this cha daily challenge and showing up for it was so good because yeah, we, we always or we often have those excuses why we can't do this. And uh, I myself, I tend to be very perfect, perfectionistic. And um, yeah, sometimes um, I overthink things. And with this challenge, I just couldn't, <laughs> couldn't um, allow myself to do that because I just had to show up. I also, yeah, rediscovered uh, or, or was reminded again of how important it is for me to just express whatever uh, is here at the moment and uh, what I'm feeling, what I'm experiencing, uh, to express that in my art. Also, because that for me keeps it, yeah, keeps my art authentic and, and fresh and alive. Having to make these uh, daily videos was also a great learning, uh, learning uh, experience because, um, yeah, as I said, it forced me to um, be a bit less perfectionistic or to find ways that I could deliver the same quality but um, in a way that I can make more videos and that's uh, very important because I really want to be able to connect more with you all and that's what I've also been loving throughout this month that was uh, to get all the reactions from people to uh, to uh, see that people got engaged also in my Facebook group, um, to read all your comments and um, yeah, to connect with you all because uh, yeah, art is such a beautiful way to, uh, to connect with people from all over the world. And um, yeah, I really love to be able to do that on a much more regular basis. So that's why I have decided to uh, yeah, continue here on this channel to make weekly videos. And it's also the reason why I started my uh, Patreon. Because uh, yeah, there I am offering uh, monthly art projects. And that's also a way for me to, um, yeah, to, to be in a much more closer contact and interaction with uh, students and friends. So yeah, this challenge has been uh, very helpful, interesting, uh, exhausting also. <laughs> um, but very valuable to me. And 
it really got me um, back in the groove here uh, on on YouTube making videos. So what are my plans for uh, YouTube? Um, for now, my idea is to make weekly videos and uh, I'm just going to take you with me in my studio. It's actually the same as uh, what has happened here on uh, during gel printing July, but um, I do much more than just gel printing. <laughs> Many people know me also from uh, my portraits, uh, uh, my um, charcoal portraits, pastel portraits. Uh, that's another side of me. And yeah, I, I just love it all, <laughs> I guess. I don't want to be boxed in uh, to be a portrait artist or abstract artist or whatever label we, uh, we put on ourselves. I really want to place my creativity and my curiosity at the heart of everything. And here on my YouTube channel, I'm just taking you with me. Uh, with what I am doing at, uh, at that time and what I am uh, focusing on uh, at that moment. And it, so it can be portraits, it can be abstract, it can be charcoal, pastel, acrylics. It can be with or without a gel plate. Um, and there are so much, many more things to, to do and discover. And uh, yeah, that's what really makes me excited. And... Um, that's what I want to share with you all, because I do want to, yeah, I think I do want to share the inspiration and um, I do want to have that, offer that as a way to connect with you, to interact and to engage. Um, yeah, that's really what, um, what I would love to do most and that's what I'm going for. So that's what, um, what this channel will be about. Okay, now enough talking. <laughs> Let's have a look. I think this is really fun. Yeah, I love how this looks. I, I did not use, let me show you. So I did not use all the paints that I uh, had put on my uh, palette here. Uh, I did not use this metallic and I did not use this uh, Sienna yellow but I will list all the paints that I did use I will list those in the description okay so now uh, I'm going to let this dry and then uh, we can prepare everything to uh, take the print okay let me get some white paint So I'm going to let this dry and then uh, we can pull this print. Okay, let's see how this print turned out. All right, so here we are <laughs> with the last print for gel printing July. Yeah, I, I love this freestyling technique. This is maybe not my favorite version of how it turned out, but uh, I do like that I used the brass also. Uh, I think I would have liked it also to have a few more of my warmer violet colors. But um, do check out uh, my other video uh, where I show this technique a bit more uh, in depth and I'll link that uh, in the description box. But uh, yeah, that's it for today. Um, I really hope you like this video. Uh, I 
I really had a lot of fun making this whole series of <laughs> gel printing July. It really was so, yeah, inspiring for me. I learned so much and uh, I, yeah, I really enjoyed being in touch with, uh, yeah, with so many people. And um, so I'm not going to do a long goodbye uh, here now because uh, yeah, I'll be back soon with uh, weekly videos. So if you'd like to stay connected, uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel and also turn on notifications because then uh, you will know when the next video is released. And I, I think probably not this, not this week because uh, <laughs> I need to take one or two days off and then I have some other projects to do but uh, I think it will be next week so uh, very soon in in any case and in the meantime you have 29 more videos to watch <laughs> from this series and uh, yeah so I'll also put the link uh, to the playlist with the whole gel printing July uh, series I'll put that uh, also in the description box now, if you'd like to learn more about gel printing, then uh, check out my gel print fundamentals video series. Um, I've made that for my patrons and there's a lot of information there. So I'll also put a link <laughs> to that series in the description. And I do want to say a big thank you to uh, my uh, patrons because uh, they make this possible really. And uh, all of, to all of you, I'm uh, now working behind the scenes also to, uh, on the new project for August. And it's going to be really fun. <laughs> but I'm not going to say anything because it's, uh, it's a surprise. So yeah, that's it for today. And then uh, I'll see you soon in the next video.